guys, today I want to share what I read in the month of March. Now, this feels a little weird because I took Thursday off last week from filming a video, which I haven't done in a very long time. So now I feel a little rusty, like I don't remember how to do this. So what I'm going to do today is actually I'm going to add one book to my TBR for the month of April because my patrons over on Patreon voted and we are going to be reading The Murder at the Vicarage together. And I'm so excited about it. Um, it just, it sounds like the perfect Miss Marple book. So yes, I'm adding this to my TBR, even though I didn't have it in my video. Um, and then one other thing I wanna share about today is um, Megan from Grace Bunny sent me these cute little dainty bookmarks. She has a little shop where she sells these and they are just like so intricate. I wanted to show them off. She sent two of them to me and I will leave her shop linked below. If you're looking for like a gift idea for a woman who loves reading, then check that out. Now this wrap up is a little different because I did a mid month wrap up sharing some of the mystery books that I read. And so I'm just going to briefly like say which books those were and then we'll move on into the books that I haven't talked about yet. Okay, in no particular order, they were The Mystery of Mrs. Christie. I really did not like this book, and I really did not like that there was spoilers um, to one of my favorite Agatha Christie books ever. I read The Seven Deaths of Evelyn Hardcastle, or Seven and a Half Deaths, if you are American. I also was disappointed by this book. Um, I read The Winter House Mysteries. This is book three in the series, and I enjoyed this one a lot. I read Collision of Lies and this was a five star read for me and I'm excited to read book two in this series hopefully soon. I read my first Enola Holmes, The uh, the Missing, the Case of the Missing Marquis. I really enjoyed this one and can't wait to read the rest of this series. I read Case Closed and I wasn't the biggest fan myself but since then I've read this with my kids and we had a lot of fun with it together so that's definitely the way I want to read the series. It's like a choose your own adventure middle grade mystery series. And then I read The, Ga the Great Cake Mystery, which is um, Alexander McCall Smith's kind of like spin-off of the number one ladies detective agency where Precious is um, a middle grade girl instead of like a 40 or 50 year old woman. Uh, yeah, so those are the ones I read kind of at the beginning of the month. And then I've got some more books to share. First of all, I have two DNFs. So I DNF'd The Wolf Wilder. Um, I did a try a chapter of a couple of her books um, for my patrons and the first chapter had the Lord's name in vain twice and I wasn't a huge fan of the writing style to begin with so I was like um, this isn't a book I'm going to recommend to my middle grade kids so I'm just gonna DNF this one and unfortunately like the cover is beautiful so while I want to kind of like unhaul this book I want to try to do something with this cover some kind of like artsy thing of some sort. And then another book I DNF'd is a very short one. This is uh, Last Breath. Um, this is supposed to be a prequel to a suspense series and I just I really didn't like our main character. This one is uh, we're following a lawyer. Actually you know what I don't like lawyer stories. Um, I still want to do a video of things I don't like in books that goes kind of like hand in hand with my things I like in books but I don't like reading about lawyers and I know this and there was also quite a bit of language um, and I just wasn't wasn't invested and even though it was only 170 pages I didn't care to continue with this one. And then I'm not left with very many books. Um, the last few weeks I have not been reading very much. Today is the 3rd of April and I haven't even started a single book. Uh, that's not like me at all but maybe I'm in a bit of a reading slump. Maybe there's just other things going on but I've got a couple good books here. Okay actually the very first book I read this month was Echo Island. Okay so this is a Christian I Classified action adventure survival story. I don't know what this is. <laughs> I can't even tell you. <sighs> Four kids go camping, these teenage boys. I think they graduated high school, they went camping for a bit and they came back and their entire island, the people are all gone and they're trying to figure out what happened. And I was like halfway through the book and then I realized like nothing has even happened. It didn't feel like nothing had happened, but nothing happened. And then like things started happening and then yeah, <laughs> I can't even talk about this book because everything is a spoiler, but I don't really know how I feel about the book because it was just, it was so different than I was expecting, so different than anything I've really read. It kind of feels like Frank Peretti-esque in some ways. Um, yeah, but I want more people to read this. 
Becca from Hicks Picks Books read it and her and I have talked a little bit about it. Um, but I need more people to read it so I can talk about it because I can't talk about it otherwise because it would just spoil the entire book. I have been struggling with what to rate this book. Um, I'm not doing these really in any particular order today. Uh, this is probably like a three and a half star. Yeah, probably a three and a half star for me. Then I finally got to uh, Iggy Morton Mystery Queen Peril at Owl Park. This is book two in the series. And I think book three is coming out later this year. Uh, this one was came out last year. So this is um, kind of like Aggie Morton is Agatha Christie as a middle grade um, girl and she's got a friend named Hector and they keep coming across these murders and yeah I don't know I really enjoyed this one. Uh, she goes to her sister's house for Christmas. Um, Owl Park is where her sister lives and there is a body and they have to solve the mystery and this one involves like little secret passageways and I just really like the series. I really need to own these books. Uh, for an actual rating, I think I would give this one probably four, four and a half stars. Um, like it's not like crazy suspenseful or anything, but I don't know. I just have so much fun with these. And I still, I love the like pictures that give you the lineup of all the different characters and suspects. Um, yeah, this is just one of those series I want to own. Okay, what should we do next here? Oh. I read the first book in the York series. This is like a steampunk story about New York. There is um, these twins that died a number of years ago and they left like all these clues. So this book follows a separate set of twins and they're trying to like solve the cipher, solve the clues um, to this great mystery that the Morning Star twins have left behind. Um, yeah, I don't know. I had fun with the book. Apparently the American history is not accurate here. I don't know. I don't know American history. I wasn't really going into this book like trying to know history. I listened to it on audio and um, yeah I enjoyed it so I do want to read book two in this one. I like kind of steampunk vibes. They've got some interesting little creatures that come and clean things and all sorts of different things like that and I like the creativity of steampunk. I would probably give this one like a three and a half star I think. Um, okay and then I read The Extremely Inconvenient Adventures of Bronte Metalstone. This was my um, Patreon buddy read for the month of March and this is not normally the kind of book I would enjoy. It's very whimsical and silly and but I really enjoyed the narration. So it's about a girl named Bronte. So, so when she was 10 her parents were killed by pirates and she has to go on this big adventure to um, deliver gifts to each of her 10 aunts and her parents have left like very specific instructions like go here on this day, eat at this cafe, um, give your gift at this time and she does it and then she's narrating it as a 12 year old so like two years after this happened and I don't know just I just loved some of the some of the narration style and kind of like how she kind of laughs at some of the things that happens and it's yeah generally not my kind of book I wouldn't think but I had so much fun with it um I'd probably give this one like a three and a half, four star. Okay, and then my last book of the month was one that I enjoyed. I'm not sure if that's the right word. When it comes to cult books, what kind of words can you use to describe them? Can you say, I really enjoyed it, I really liked it? Do you have to say like, I don't know. This was really good for what it was. So this is The Prophet Calls. So we follow a girl named Gentry who is, um, she is growing up in a polygamist cult and her father has three wives, so she is one of 21 children, I believe. And she wants to play music and kind of get in trouble. And this whole thing goes on. And oh man, I really enjoy reading about cults. I'm not sure I would put this in the hands of a middle grade kid because this is um, a middle grade classified book. Um, but yeah, I don't know. It's powerful. It's very realistic from what I do know of some cults and I read this I read it in an evening because it, it just completely gripped me and that's saying a lot because I have not been able to stay awake very much for books lately so yeah if you're into cults no that's probably not the right way to say it if you're into reading about cults and learning about them uh, this is a book that I would recommend and um, keep the cult book recommendations coming. You guys keep recommending a bunch and I've got a list and I want to read them all. Um, but if you haven't read this one, definitely do. Okay, yeah, so that was a slower half of 
the month. Um, hopefully I can kind of pick things up here, get going again soon. Let me know what you are reading in the month of April, if there's any good books you've read recently, and yeah, any suggestions for me, just let me know. Thanks for watching, guys. Mm -hmm.